<laughs> Steve Weisberg is with us as well. Long time um, picker with John Duchendorf, uh, the folks that, that didn't know that he actually changed his name. Why did he change his name, Steve? Uh, I think Denver had a slightly better ring to it. <laughs> and I know it's easier to spell. You know, it also, it very much embodied uh, what he had discovered in the mountains and uh, uh, he was uh, completely uh, thrilled and absorbed with the mountains and that whole lifestyle. And, uh, but probably because of the spelling of the first. <laughs> 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 now you talked, when we talked off the air about a, a, a kind of a famous story about John Denver. You talked about uh, how you guys traveled first class with him, you ate first class, you stayed first class. But, but any kind of performer when it gets right down to it, they are very particular about about their craft and what they're presenting to their audience, right? Yeah, John John was uh, ab an absolute perfectionist. Uh, I don't mean unforgiving, like he never told me what to play, which was, in hindsight, amazing, you know. I was totally unknown and he was on his way to fame when he hired me. Never told me what to play. I just jammed and it went on a record. But the, when the ticket stub said 8 p.m., that didn't mean 801. If you made the concert late, heaven help you. You did that once. Uh, do it twice, you're out of the band. So his manager, uh, Jerry Weintraub, who <clears throat> is probably still the heaviest guy in L.A., though now he's moved on to movies and actors with clients like Matt Damon and Julia Roberts, Tom Cruise. Um, when he was an up-and-coming manager, he had spotted John and predicted to his peers, in eight years, this boy is going to be number one. Well, his peers walked away laughing, but Weintraub was right. And he saw what, what other people didn't, that this was what the country wanted. And uh, so with John, very few things ever went wrong because John surrounded himself with people that, aside from being good at their craft, were on time. Sound check at four meant sound check at four. And there was a huge infrastructure. My first tour, there were three of us. Second tour, four of us. Then the big band, five of us. Well, there were 20 people or so necessary to let the five of us go on stage. And none of these 20 was ever late. Well, after my stint with John, um, the farther you get from home, the more likelihood there is of a little something going wrong, different voltages, different, uh, just uh, things are different. And uh, on tour in England, things were not going perfectly. They were not going flawlessly. John was upset. And he let his manager know. John was very upset. And his manager um, didn't know what to do to make it better. So he finally made an announcement that he had, John, it's okay, I fired Ferguson. <laughs> and John went, you fired him? He said, yeah, I let him go. He's the reason everything's been going wrong, and I'm sorry for the heartache. <laughs> and John apparently said something like, well, it's the Christmas season. Is he going to be all right? He said, oh, yeah, uh, we took care of everything. He's just fine, but he's finally out of the way now, and now everything will be smooth again. <laughs> John said, Jerry, thanks so very much. I love you. Well, there was no <laughs> problem solving 401. It's now, a great story. It's if a great if story. I make a mistake on on stage and James looks at me, I look back at him as if to say, "That was intentional." <laughs> or I'm going to fire Ferguson. That wasn't a mistake. That was in, that was interpretation. I'm an artist. <laughs> I've been lately thinking about my life's time All the things I've done and how it's been and I can't help believing in my own mind I know I'm gonna hate to see it end I've seen a lot of sunshine Slept out in the rain Spent a night or two Out on my own 
I've known my lady's pleasures, had myself some friends, spent a night or two in my own home. I have to say it now, it's been a good life all in all. It's really fine to have a chance to hang around. Lie there by the fire and watch the evening tired while all my friends and my family sit and watch the sun go down and talk of poems and prayers and promises things that we believe in how sweet it is to love someone how right it is to care how long it's been since yesterday what about tomorrow? What about our dreams and all the memories we share?